Yeah. Well, yep. Welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. How are we doing? We are doing Hello. Extremely. Look, we're going to dive straight into our first segment because we have a packed podcast. Oh, Jordan, yeah. oh. have you heard about this news? I'm sure you have. They're banning social media for kids. How? Yeah, that's right. What do you mean how? Well, they're not listening. But they're not going to be able to do that. Well, they are. So they still haven't determined what age their ban would apply. But Albo said it'll be between 14 to 16. That's Somewhere genius, but they're not going to be... How are they going to do that? Man, Is I hope that they put the age at like 58. Yeah. <laughs> they should put it at every Just human ban being. It, give us ban hell. It, ban it from Albo. everyone. Ban it all. Ban Is it, it all. Is this even... Is this Wait, feed? then we don't get any money. Oh no, but entertainers. If it's a Taking business, away from the children. If it's a, <laughs> if it's a business, Your private kids of knowledge. No, if it's a business, it's oh because then they wouldn't interact with us. God, okay, yeah. uh, Albo. And as we all know, uh, ten-year-olds are very interested in New South Wales politics. Well, yeah, because yeah, Albo's the our new base. Dan Andrews. There and our stats settled. show that ten-year-olds are the ones watching us <laughs> mostly. Um, no, okay. I have a lot of things to ask about this. It sounds on the surface obviously very appealing because you can tell that social media is having a bad impact on on everyone, particularly kids. But first of all, is this even feasible? No. Like, yeah. how are you going to stop kids <laughs> from accessing social media? Also, like, okay, this is something like saying kids under 18 can't have alcohol. We've done that and it somewhat works, but even that has loopholes. But how do you do that when everyone on earth is an alcoholic, including their parents? Yeah. Dude, most of the times I've seen parents do this and I'm not I'm not complaining of I'm not like looking down on them. The parents when they get tired of their children, they just immediately give them a f- iPad or a phone yeah, yeah. with like whatever trans <laughs> cartoon thing that they're watching. <laughs> it's always some weird. <laughs> Bluey. Yeah, it's like you're in a trans. These kids are just like. Ah. Oh, did you say trance? Yeah, trans. It's my mistake. No, no, trans. <laughs> yeah, but both are correct. <laughs> Don't demonetize us. I said so. trans music. <laughs> YouTube. But. Is this even feasible? Is this too late? I don't even understand how you would do it. How would you even do that? How? Seriously. Well, I guess, like, firstly... Other countries have done it, haven't they? How? You just lie about your age. No <sighs> one's banned it, I think. I think what they've done is, uh, uh, in China or whatever, like, when kids are on TikTok, they have a different version of TikTok, so a lot of the videos get uh, uh, filtered Yeah, I know through. that. I swear to God, but also they have, like, blocks. have done it, though. Like, when they're on know. reels, like, after every third reel... That there's a timeout. China out. did that, which yeah. is genius. There's a timeout, and then like you that also, and they also have to include in the algorithm educational videos. Also, very thing. awesome. But like, how are you gonna ban it? I don't think you can. Well, I don't know, and I don't know if the China quote unquote ban works either. But there's got to be some merit to it, and maybe it's one of those things that it decreases it by 17%. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll fair take enough. any decrease. I don't know yeah. if it's going to decrease anything. I think it's like, it's you can try. It'll be a good experiment. I think a lot of countries are going to be looking at it and see how that works, but I don't think it's going to work. It's too late. Like, you don't think it's going to work? everyone in the all. family, it, like including parents, everyone's on their phone, bro. Like, you're 70 years old or you're seven years old. You're all on your phone. And you're going to expect these kids... To be like, oh, my dad's a junkie. My mom's constantly on the phone, but I'm going to go play with Legos. Yeah. It's not going to happen, dude. They, yeah. They're always ahead of you. Exactly. So That's true. It's ubiquitous. But it will be them asking their parents for the phone, and because they're crackheads, they'll be like, no, nah, fuck off, no, nah, and, and so they might actually restrict it a little bit. It might help. I don't it know. might I don't help. Get, but I don't get the logistics, because if, if they're... If they're sorry, uh, uh, if they're genius, sorry, if they're genius wow. plan. Riveting if they're, <laughs> <laughs> if they're genius that's plan, the last word. <laughs> if they're genius plan, Albo, when did you call? Uh, did you call Hillary Clinton when she lost? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Call her now. When <laughs> if their genius plan is to be like when you sign up for social media and they say how old are, are you? Fourteen. Yeah, that's not going to work. Well, that's mm. what they're going to do. That's that's. Listen, they try to stop us watching Stick Death and it didn't happen. They're passing, they're passing on the responsibility to tech companies saying like, it's your responsibility to ensure that people under the age of 18 are not on. So not like, happen. They don't understand the resolve of people under the age of 18. Like, they... Exactly. Like, they will do anything. Like, I'm thinking if when I was 13 and my parents, if my parents were like, okay, um, you can't use the internet or you can't use the phone, which they often did, 
Dude, I had like a million ways to get around that shit. Did you? Someone told me recently that their kid who were like the mom said, um, you can't use social media, right? And uh, she put like a lock on the phone. The kid put up screen recording on the phone, gave it to her mom when it was her period, and made a video yeah. of what the. Uh, oh my God. This is a child. Like, you're going to stop this show? Yeah, exactly. This show is like, it's going to hack it's a robot. NASA. It's, it's Ghost in the Shell. That's what your kid is now. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah, maybe yeah too little too late yeah it's a bipartisan thing oh, Peter Dutton is very, is very on board and so is right. Labour Party because they all have kids and they're worried about them yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> nice try I would be too but yeah I don't think there's anything I like I like that I have to say though of humanity. I do like that Neighbour do put these sorry Labour put these ads out that are like um that are like you know, vaping ads being like, you're an addict, aren't you? It's really bad. You should stop. And, I, and I've seen these. I know it's kind of cringe, but I actually like these ads too. I saw them and it was like, this is Stacy. She's really cool. Stacy uh, caps her alcohol when she goes out. She caps her drinks at four drinks a night. She's really cool. Be like Stacy. Like I, was, I saw that and I was like, yeah. Stacy is cool. That's what I actually thought. I was just like, yeah. Why? Because like we should try... To maybe, maybe curb the rampant alcoholism of this country slightly, if we can. You know, like <laughs> our culture is drink till you die. Mm. Like maybe we can make it, if we can make it like being sensible, kind of cool, then like that's not a bad thing, I don't think. Can you explain this to me? Like Australia has some of the highest levels of life expectancy in the world. Really? I think we're at, uh, we're cl getting close, particularly for women, I think we're getting close to 90. Well, that's the yeah, mad. life expectancy for women. And I think for men, it's like 87 or 88. Yeah. Is is that a problem? <laughs> Dude, I think people seem to be living fine. Yeah, all right, fine. Let's just drink all you want, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong. I well, might like, be wrong. I understand I like when people talk about like Eastern Europe and Russia where alcoholism is intense. Yeah. There's a lot of domestic violence. I, well, yeah. what are, Here too. But is it comparable? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even have the stats. My my uh, uncle's uh, wife was Uc is Ukrainian, and she told me I once asked her I was like why did you marry my uncle, and she was like because most of the men are alcoholics and they beat their Jesus wives. I think Russia is a fucking intense place more than we could ever realize I I really do think that I think do you very be. much like that when we're referring to a Ukrainian you refer to it in <laughs> Russia oh my god. <laughs> Where's the hundred thousand dollars that Tim Pool got? When when are we getting our money? Look to yeah, me, to, come on. Look, they're racial. That was more effort than what Tim Pool. They're did. racially very similar. Come on, Whoa. what? Is, what? That's controversial Another to say. Two hundred grand for me, Slav. Eh? <laughs> I wish. Man, you finally figured out the cheat code to life. Get at my Instagram. I'll say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, keep in mind, this man does. Send uh, socks and and say abusive things to gay guys online yeah. because they yeah. like it. Yeah, well, he will do anything. I'll, I will, I will. I'm desperate, but um, so get at me. But no, I'm just saying, much like Serbians and Croatians, they're <laughs> not. There's more ethnic similarity between Ukrainians and Russians than Russians and Congolese. Am I wrong? I have to double check. <laughs> Like what, what he's saying is very problematic. Oh, for fuck's well. sake! I don't know. Congolese. Aren't How is every, everything is so politicized? I'm not saying like I'm not talking about the war. I'm just saying you know they're they're on a freaking border. Yeah. And Which, my point did you is, know everyone is from Congo. Oh, for fuck's! Sake. My yeah, point exactly. Yeah. Okay. True. Yeah. You got me. But my point <laughs> is, my point is that whole Look, area. Still trying to defend. Yeah. I, that still, whole. Still I'm still saying. It. It. I'm still saying it. that whole area Miss is a little iffy. Is a little iffy. It's rough. So I'm, st I'm sticking to it. Sorry. <laughs> Big controversial statement. <laughs> Eastern Europe is kind of hectic. Vote for <laughs> Trump. Stop the press. Stop the press. Vote for Trump. But is it like universal fucking opinion now that Russia is the same as San Francisco? Is it? <laughs> yes. Know, I'm starting to get really confused now <laughs> about what we are and aren't allowed. Like you just can't say Russia and Ukraine in the same You just state. can't even say it. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. And yet you did it anyway. Yeah. Well... Just love being controversial. Don't yeah, you? I do. I'm trying to get our <laughs> views up, and you know what? Demonetize this because I don't care, and I'll speak oh. for these two. Oh. They don't care either. Okay? Oh, we care. We care. <laughs> Ali really cares. Fine. Mm -hmm. Well, these two, 
Us two here. Don't Zero cares. Care. All right, so now Miss Love's next opinion: Pakistanis <laughs> and Indians are exactly the well, same. they're similar too. And also, like they were once a country. Yeah. They were once a country. You, you guys were one country once. Uh, yes, we were. There we you were, go. Yeah, we share. Yeah, and what's happening in Russian Ukraine? Century. Now they're becoming one country. Yeah, exactly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was a joke. One love. <laughs> Look, if anything, he's the most peaceful out of all of you. He's basically just talking about Bob Marley's idea of the world. Yeah, exactly. One life, one love. Yeah, so a sure Miss Love, a Miss Love, a Miss Love. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I'm not sure, my <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Everything's so controversial. We just cool it. And that's what we think about the social media policy. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Segment two, I think <laughs> your are is... Russia and Ukraine. No, always, no, no. always, always. Oh, segment two. What do you think about uh, the big man, your mate? Taking Albo. a leave. Albo, and, introducing uh, social... Going to his revolving door cushy job as the vice chancellor <laughs> of University of Canberra. Who's this? Is this, is this, everyone, is this? Why is everyone saying this? Who is this? Bill Shorten. Yeah. Pathetic. How dare this Bill man Short become an oil executive? Yeah. Bill, Bill Shorting the Australian public. <laughs> yeah. Bill Short on transparency. With his aptly paid job. Disgraceful. No, I didn't even know he... Is your what, name what even Bill? Academia. <laughs> Basically the same job he has now, but with no power. What's his job? What's his job? A ceremonial what's position. What's his yeah, job? What's ceremonial he, what's he position. What's he got? What's he got? He's what's just become a vice chancellor of Canberra University. What, what, is a, what does a vice chancellor do? Exactly. Nothing really. What just, do they do? I think, I think like they write a newsletter, maybe. Or maybe... <laughs> They just like the the chancellor writes that, and then he looks at it and goes, yeah. "Can I'm, I be a I'm vice chancellor?" Easily. Well, get absolutely. at my Instagram. Let's, let's I bet you do. I bet you were like number two on the list. I like Bill Shorten or Mishla. I have to sleep on this one. I think the vice you chancellor didn't even know that you were nominated <laughs> for. It. I think vice chancellor's role is exclusively to explain to the politicians why there's anti-Semitism at university campuses. Well, the position yeah, exactly. must be filled. <laughs> You know what? I do remember, though, that the last vice chancellor of Canberra was the highest paid vice chancellor oh. on earth. Oh, well, okay. Well, that, on earth. well, you've just kind of negated everything you said before that statement. No, because now th they don't have the money for that anymore. Oh. Yeah, dude. So it's like a job that you, it's again, it's another, uh, I guess I'll clean up this thing that no one cares about. Uh, I think that's have you, one of speaking people. of like uh, the impact of international student quotas, they're being felt, my friend. And you thought it was only the universities. But it turns out my brother's company... <laughs> well, look, he, say he's it. He's not doing so well. Love I'm not going to say it. I'm uh, not going to say it because I don't want to okay. create ripples. But like, Lad Brooks. What, your brother's a vice chancellor as well. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, just no, sitting no. there, Bill Shorten, being like, damn it, you're not part of UQ. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> UQ. Like, they depended on a lot of international students getting uh, mobile phones and stuff. Oh, yeah. That right. is it. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. so University of Canberra is soon going to be University of Poor Canberra. I'll tell you, I got the bus over here. It doesn't seem like they're cutting visas. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm this a very controversial tonight, aren't I? Slave just took a bus from Chinatown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's with all these Chinese restaurants? <laughs> no, even better. With all these Japanese restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I came here for Chinese food. <laughs> this is a disgrace. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there you so, go. You, you're in a you. KFC. Are you are you sad about Bill Shorten <laughs> leading? Look at all the tempura. Make <laughs> sure they call it right, tempura. Are you sad about I'll Bill Shorten leaving? I'll have a tempura singer. Yeah, I'll have a <laughs> tempura singer. Sorry. Are you sure about sad about him leaving? What government? Yeah, like Didn't what, he just what, sat what at the back anyway and flung like no, you know dude, elastic like, bands of people. He was a cabinet member. <laughs> no, he flung plastic. Sorry, Bill. I know he already copped it for me like three years ago now. I'm being like, he flung elastic bands at people in Parliament. That's what he did. Fact. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that Miss Love is actually writing up one of those positive ABC legacy stories. <laughs> Some said he threw it the furthest. Others say Kim Beasley did it longer. But we'll never know because the records <laughs> were spotty. He, of course, pioneered the paper plane from row C to C2. That'd be amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? Footage of Bill Shorten in the middle of a heated argument. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. Do it before you go, Bill. Come on. Has no politician ever done that? 
Uh, Come on. I'll still remember. Has one poly ever chucked a paper, paper plane? Paper airplane? In, in uh, they've got to do it. Someone come has to. Come on. Surely. Put, surely Especially someone. Especially when they're just saying, like, would you like to table the documents? Just be like, here, yeah, Mr. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go. Sure, <laughs> I'm sure yeah. that we got Medicare and that's why we brought it in and those opposite would not agree, would they? <laughs> I'm sure it's happened in some no Middle Eastern country before. Hell yeah. Throwing a paper no, airplane. You can't, I reckon you can't no bring one no, no, not paper. of parliament Actual has ever plane. chucked a paper airplane. Not one. Because you can't bring in props and then ScoMo got in trouble, right, because he brought a lump of coal. No, yeah, like, he ruined it for everyone. Mm. Now we'll never get to Paulie see how Hansen far it goes. Pauline Hanson came in a burqa. That's not a prop. That's your religious. Uh, <laughs> that's, a religious <laughs> that's an outfit. Well, she we're going to get mad dude, at her that, for that wearing for, clothes. That was for now, Halloween, dude. That was <laughs> I think the Halloween <laughs> part was when she took off the burqa. Uh, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but are you sad that no, Bill's going? I mean, ginger. look, I'll answer for him. No, I want no, to no, hear no, 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 no. Can I? Can I be your? Uh, what's what's we call it? A lawyer. Power of attorney. Can I be? His, can I be your power of attorney right now? Yeah. All well, right. as always, you gave yourself that power last week. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm taking it back. <laughs> Ali, politi- uh, uh, This is and this is the this is the problem with a lot of politicians. It's a temporary position. You shouldn't lament when they go. Be happy when they were there. This we shouldn't glorify these people. They're working for us. So so you know, have a beer for old Bill, but don't be sad. You reckon that's what I think? Yeah. What do you think? Is it the same thing? Is this the same thing? What yeah. happened last Coincidentally. time? Coincidentally. Yeah. Coincidentally, you think the same thing? Yeah. yeah. Is, is that, is that, are you going to co-sign on that? Are you signing off or not? I've got no choice. He has my power of attorney. <laughs> I mean, you can add notes. What notes would Did you... Did you... Have you, have you texted have him? Been promptly ignored. No. You? Have you texted <laughs> him? <laughs> oh, no. It was very well considered. <laughs> Please, I really appreciate your input. <laughs> It'll be a hundred thousand dollars. Have you texted him or spoken? I him? would, but I've lost my other drug dealer phone and had to get another one. And he was saved as a phone and not a. Wait a second, you lost your phone again? No, no. The last time that I lost the uh. last one of my many drug dealer phones, I lost with his number in it, so I never got to text him, and right. I did want to do that, but I'll, I'll publicly shout and him out. He sends you Christmas cards. Yeah, and look at this, nice Jesus though. Christ! Fucking Charlie Rose again, just being like, <laughs> did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why not? <laughs> you had his number. The phone <laughs> is an excuse. <laughs> the man sends you Christmas cards. <laughs> He's right. And, you know, and I'll just keep paying him out. Nah, good on him. Good on him. You like him, though. Of course I do. I got nothing against him. He's like a good, you know, hardworking poly. Do you labor. like him, Ali? Um, I don't mind him. Yeah. Unfortunately, he wasn't a member of the Socialist. <laughs> Same thing every time. The Socialist. How many seats do they have in Parliament? Is minus two? Yeah, probably. I don't imagine that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could do that, but yes. They're yes. underground. They're yeah, under the fucking hey, governor general in a, in a king, 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 in a like prison cell. King, 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 with like a cop. Excuse yeah. me. They're if- in five seats because they just make it like, I will throw that paper or a plane <laughs> into <laughs> I can tell you one thing. If uh, Albo keeps doing things the way he's doing... They're going to be in Parliament, the Social Security Party, soon. Damn, you reckon, do you? The people are rising. What, the Greens? No, uh, spoiled children that have daddy issues. (laughs) They are rising. The the Greens? No, 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 yeah, the Greens, yes, yes, also. But, like, definitely, I always think that any time I ever see somebody at the Socialist Party, I think, like, you've got a rich dad, don't you? Look, let's extend it to... Dude, you know what they always say if you say that to them? What? Well, if you, you just need to look at history. Uh, Leon Trotsky uh, came from mm, well. There you go. Che Guevara came from well. Exactly. Fidel Castro came from well. Yes, that's their heroes. Marx, Engels, I'm just one of them. Mm. Yeah, that's that's, what they, they say. think that. There they truly think that. That's why they are their heroes. I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> they're why like, is that, though? Mm. Why are all these true. rich <laughs> kids... <laughs> what, what is that? What is the psychology behind that? Why do rich kids look up to Lennon? I think it's not just that, though. It's also like uni kids. I was like that in uni. I was like, fight the power, man. Yeah, but they keep on fighting. Right. Well into their 30s do and they? 40s. Absolutely. Ali, do they? Uh, some do, but a lot of them do drop off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder... W- you know why? The reason... Because to keep fighting the power well into your 30s and 40s requires money. That's yeah. why. So everybody right. else realizes, like, yeah, actually, fuck, Caltech's job is eighty grand. That's pretty good. That's yeah. what happens yeah. most. But it's also 80. like, dude, you, when you're when you're like in your thirties and doing an office job, 
you're so tired by the end, by the time you come back home that you're like, I can't do any yeah. revolutionary I, activities. Yeah. And on the weekends, like, I would, but I need to do my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a revolution. That's my revolution. Yeah, Try really, and get it done. Whereas these kids don't need to do their laundry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. If you don't need yeah. to do your laundry, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I think that might be the case, honestly. I mean, look, I think some of them, like, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to, huge strike them all off like i'm sure that i think a lot of them these people mean very well and they Who? these socialist types i think they do i seriously think they mean to destroy the fabric of society <laughs> and then as ali you know just random crap shoot that it's better when it mm. gets mangled. well i don't know what their policies are um revolution that's the revolution. Poli- that's their policy. Yeah, redistribute well, the wealth it's a somehow. Part. It'll a big part of it is revolution. But, but okay, here's the thing about revolution. It's a very broad <laughs> term. Like, what does that mean practically? Well, a lot of Australian like, ones they believe in a democratic form of revolution where yeah, everyone right. in Australia goes and votes for right. a socialist party and then yeah, sure, okay. redistribution of wealth. Right, right, right. I mean, that's a li- little bit more pragmatic than like smash up. No, but the that's gaff. definitely not pra- pragmatic. You know what is pragmatic? A violent revolution that is way more pragmatic. Is it? Yeah, way more pragmatic. Yeah, totally. Yeah. He's right. Oh, it is more pragmatic. He's got it right. Dude, just so think about this for a second. Do you ever think that Akon would vote for the socialist party? <laughs> no, ever? I don't. Yeah. And also, That's like, not happening. He's obviously think, think the most influential it. man on earth. <laughs> think about everywhere there has been a revolution <laughs> like that. What? Think about everywhere that has been a revolution like that. Like and what? tell me how many of them were... From the ballot box and how many That's of them true. were from the ballot box. Like, okay, gun. but can I just say this? When you do do the revolution, don't smash up my Rickenbacker. It's too grand. That's my message to you. What's the Rickenbacker? It's a guitar I bought. It's 2,000 clams. That's no, a good price. it will be distributed amongst the <laughs> proles in little splinter pieces. No, not well, little splinters. you wanted socialism. I you did socialism. I, I did One string with you, all your mates. <laughs> Damn, not a string. There's only six of them. You might get the strap. and sickle, mate. That's what happens in your little utopia that you've always loved Me? and have very explicitly said on the podcast. I before. was like a libertarian <laughs> a two years ago, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. And look at you now. Yeah. Yeah. House of, what's it called? Uh, cost of living goes up and I'm bloody, you know, wrapping a scarf around my neck. Dude, speaking of, you know, it's incredible. The polling in Queensland. How, has a story. How's it looking? All of that free money is working. It's working. The petrol stuff? No. Well, yes, but no, it's not. Oh, it great. Is, but it isn't. Well, it is and it isn't. <laughs> you know what's incredible? And why didn't you really call whoever's a running? a picture of Australia now. Okay. I cannot explain this to people. They refuse to believe it. And I understand it. We're sitting here in our little ivory podcast tower. Yeah. It's not it very up ivory. With our it just... muscle chef meals. Hey, speak for yourself. Still making it I'm from <laughs> scratch. Crap, Coles Protein Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seriously. I have to buy my fragua on special. <laughs> Listen, uh, that's out. I'm sticking to just buffalo mozzarella. And it's, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> buffalo is not the best of mozzarellas. <laughs> well, it is, but it's expensive. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Then. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> See, Miss Love in his ivory town. Oh, fuck off. Filled with ample mozzarella. Ample. It ain't ample. Those balls are getting smaller. <laughs> La whatever company it is. Yeah, what is that company? I know what you're talking oh, about. Yeah, the was... ravioli one. No, nah, no. Nah, I don't know. No, they, they, they do buffalo mozzarella in balls, but the balls are getting smaller. It's the real it. struggle. I'm going to start the buffalo mozzarella party. How about that? God, talk about narrow stream. <laughs> And that would have a better chance niche. than socialist alternative. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah, I honestly reckon you could probably get four seats in the Senate if you just named a party fuck Coles. Anyway, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, now. But if you name it fuck Cole, zero seats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and without an A as well, the guy, a guy called Cole. Or. No, fuck Cole gets three seats. What three. about fuck Cola? Fuck, fuck cola, zero seats. What? That's going to get zero seats. What about yeah. this? Packy. Fuck LA Ice. Oh, I'm voting for You're that. You're voting for that? Yes, I am. Yeah. 
I think you can buy that stuff's a nuclear of waste runoff. It's not. It's that's what it is. It's some sort of by. It's a byproduct. That's not of a product. Coke, yeah. Yeah. Totally. L A ice. And I still, as a kid, was like, it's so good because it's from L A. Yeah, I, me too. That was the best. And also begging my parents all the time, please. Yeah. It's not available in all good retailers. <laughs> we have to get it now. <laughs> it was exotic. Yeah, it was exotic. It was How very it's pathetic. It's the same as Foster's. It's like, why is this not getting sold? Yeah. Oh, because it's uh, it's that's terrible. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, why. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Now, where were we? we Queensland. Were, Queensland. Da. This is painting an incredible picture, which is that Stephen Miles is coming back in Brisbane. You know what it shows? This is the Labor Party vote now. The Labor Party vote is educated, not feeling the pinch of cost of living, uh, and urban, very urban. You know what else is interesting? People that are well off are voting for the Labor Party, despite the fact that the Labor Party directly inhibits their interests. So the whole time of them always saying, like, you have to piss off rich people to get the Labor Party vote. No, that's actually the exact opposite. The exact opposite is that you can't piss off the rich, generally. You can piss off the mega rich, but you're talking about, like, the well-off, like, top 30% of the country. And, mate, it shows. What do you mean? What do you mean? Elaborate. That Labor is pandering to a certain oh, section of people. Oh, not this again. You reckon? What do you reckon it's about? Because I honestly think it is just if you're educated, no, okay. you get it. On a, on I a, think that's it. A, the, Fair. On a real note, I think Labor's policy is like to piss off as few people as possible. Yeah. Piss off as few people <clears throat> as possible. Which includes the rich. Right. Thing is, though... There is a lot of wealth redistribution that is factually happening as a result of the Labor Party. The latest stats are in. You can see the graph going down where it's just like more more uh, really? wealth is getting directed to the bottom 50% of society and less wealth is getting directed to the top 50% of society. That's happening. That's a fact, right? There's a revolution. So, well, I, I need to see the data. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden... <laughs> Dude, yes, I, I Anthony think Abadizi just one nice thing he I, won't do it. He'll do it for Jordan. He'll say I'm something for his valedictory speech, no, maybe. But even then, chill out. Dude, I'm not saying that Labour Party is a reason for it, but there ain't no well distribution happening to the bottom. I can tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm saying, right? Like you can spout all of these facts at people, but it's that kind of thing of like. Basically, what you're doing is pointing at a homeless man and just looking at the GDP graph and being like, "See, it's up." Owned, right? Like, this is not what's happening, right? So, what it's it's that classic thing that they always talk about, which I always thought was bullshit, but it's definitely true. Which is that whoever is in power when there is an economic downturn, it's their fault, no matter what. Like, mm. no matter what results you're producing in that time, no one cares. So, it's this thing of people that have been insulated by the cost of living crisis are quite supportive of the Labor Party in general. In fact, extremely supportive. I haven't seen numbers like this, but when you go to Brisbane, for instance, they're getting close to 70% of the vote. Whoa. uh, From your, I can't remember the age range. I think it's something like 18 to 54 or something like that. They're not, they haven't been getting numbers like that since forever. Mm. Uh, And then as soon as you go out of that, it gets really ugly really quickly. So this is the interesting thing that is happening now with the Labor Party movement. I, it's it's astonishing. For the first time in history, they have moved their constituency, and it was starting to happen in the 2019 election as well, where the poor despise the Labor Party. They despise them. And they despise even when, like, Bill Shorten was sitting there and talking about redistribution of taxes to benefit them. They hated it. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Honestly, over and over, all I can think is that it is just a lack of education. Right. That's what I think is going on there. So it's kind of like what's happening in like England where it's like the urban areas are always Labour and then the country is always conservative. That was always the case. Right. Labour usually was able to get like quite a hefty suburban vote. That was usually where it was going right. to win out. That's not happening. Anymore. Oh, it's not. Used to be able to get like a manufacturing town base vote. That's not. That's happening not happening. Anymore. No. What Ballarat's not voting Labor. <laughs> Ballarat's voting Labor, but like you know your Townsvilles, your uh, Bundaberg's, these kind of places they could rely on. They wouldn't always swing their uh, vote, but sometimes. Well, they're they voting would. Nationals. Yeah. Now they Well, yeah. LNP. They're voting right, LNP now. Right. Right. Which one? Oh, that's Liberals, I assume. 
Yeah, Liberals and yes. Nationals. Yes, yes. Same party was merged under Joe Bioki Peterson. You could go into it for days right. on end. But it does show that if people do pay attention to politics, the average person does come to the conclusion that, yeah, this is the way to go. It's just the problem is no one pays attention to politics. That's yeah. it. So most people, when they are whinging about the Labor Party, a lot of the time they're just being like, mm, fuck this, and they, they are voting for them anyway. Yeah, that yeah is that's happening. me. Yeah, whinging about them but voting for them. Anyway. Yeah, of course, because I'm not going to vote for the alternative. I the mean, socialist. except for the socialist, socialist alternative, <laughs> <laughs> that'll be my number two. But I like needed to get that on the record. <laughs> hey, we've, we've done we've done plenty of labor bashing. This is I want to I want to show you guys a photo, and I'm going to introduce this character. Keep in mind that um, the person who we're looking at may uh wait, what the hell? Sorry. May or good brother, or may brother. not be. Ah, uh, sorry, where is it? You'll get there. Computers these here, days. Here, sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, do you know who that is? Ben Cousins could be anyone. That is a half man, half top rooster. liberal David Spears. <laughs> He is, he was, until very recently, the new uh, South Australian leader of opposition. (laughs) And over here, he claims that this is a doctored AI uh, picture, and it's not actually him. They're getting good, I'll tell him that. They're getting really good. They're getting really good. And and this is the interesting, the the metadata of this picture shows that this was taken when he was the leader of the opposition. (laughs) The thing is, the thing that makes me (laughs) curious is... Is that a positive or a negative? Because it's split. <laughs> a lot of people, totally. a lot of the Australian like electorate would be like "fuck yeah," and, yeah. A, and a lot would be like "no." Like I think most would be like "fuck yeah." For Coke, I don't. I reckon they'd be like that for ice. Again, don't you think it is just like look at him snorting away while everyone oh, else has to deal true with crack? True. If you cost a living, he can afford bags. No one else can. <laughs> yeah, true. True. What do you think? Because you're 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 going to vote for him now, aren't you? He's he's it's a plus in well, my you have book. To first move it's, it's plus in my books too. It's plus in your books, Ali. Plus Come in on. your book or minus? Uh, Getting caught snorting is pretty good, dude. For the leader, of the opposition of my state, minus, bro. <laughs> like, minus, okay. Minus. Controversial opinion. <laughs> okay. I don't go. want my. Uh, would be no, premier <laughs> to be a coke head. He's right. What am but I talking again, about? It's bad. It's bad. I don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. It's but bad. It's really funny. It's funny, but it's bad. Yeah. Dude, I have seen. Um, again, we're not implying that he is because this could this could be an AI doctored uh, photo. Um, he, by the yes. way, when the reporter to when you. the report when the reporter uh, <laughs> went to his house yeah. and was saying like, "What do you have to say about the photo?" He says. This this is this is not me. I was uh, this this cannot be me. This is AI doctored. I'm very very sorry. And it was like, wait, why are you sorry? <laughs> you sorry? She says this is not me. I'm very sorry. That's a very strange, um, yes, like yes, assortment of like innocent man. <laughs> <laughs> and also, did you say he's in South Australia? Yeah. I mean, come on. There's nothing to do there. Like, it's just you, let's just. Just own it, own up, dude. Like people will understand. Anyone's gonna hate on you for it. South Australia is pretty. I think, I think pretty like South Australian opposition is pretty symbolic, anyways. Don't doesn't Labor just always win? I don't know. Do yeah. they? I do don't they? think Liberal Party would care if the leader of South Australia was just a like. It's just it's like being a vice chancellor. You know, like it's totally. not really doing anything. Yeah. Ceremonial position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a good point. Arlen. How often do they win there? They won the last election, and then the last time they won an election before that was like twenty four years ago. Who's yeah. in there now? Labor. Oh, they ba- they got out. No, they're back. Yeah, yeah. Like they were out for three years, and they're back. Right? Did they so, get anything done? Did the libs change anything in three years? You reckon? I don't know. People, I don't know because I don't pay attention to South Australia at all. But they were whinging a lot about hospital ramping, okay. ambulance ramping. Right, right. That was right. it. Yeah, and that's all that he was running on. I think he would have just won just by existing. Yeah, it naturally spills <clears throat> towards the Labor Party. Yeah, and you know why? Because they don't have any fucking nationals. That's why they don't. It's starting to become my big theory of politics, dude. Coalition parties suck ass. You know why? Because it's just, like, it's exact opposite of what people think of, like, oh, you've got to keep special interests out of stuff. You, you are electing to have special interests in the government. Right. That's what you're voting for. Right. You're just voting for, like, these little assholes to sit there and be like, 
Uh, not, not if I don't get a piece of that. Right. That's what, dude, that, that is why the Liberal Party is terrible. Like, the, the worst Liberal Party in the country is Queensland, and it's because the DNA is inextricably fused with the Nationals. That's why it's the worst. And yeah. then you go to Adelaide, and they don't have a National Party to speak of. Does, it's just Libs. Where are they? Does WA have Nationals? Does WA have yeah. Nationals? Oh, I think they are the major party there. Oh, shit. Labor's just absolutely smashed it. I think they, I think the Liberals have two seats in their parliament. And so... Yeah, that's why, like, uh, uh, the Premier was called uh, Chairman Mao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, wait, that was... Uh, what no, was no, his no. nickname? I can't remember. What was Dictator? No, who... Someone came up with a really good Chairman Mao name, and now I can't remember who it was for. <laughs> Well, it was for Dictator Dan. Yeah. It was Dictator Dan. Dictator. No, but someone came up with... Oh, it was something... Oh, no, that was right, dude. How good is this one? Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Why didn't I think of it? <laughs> it was so good. Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't have had a name that sounded similar, mate. That's, that's very funny. God, yeah. how did he... That's hilarious. So when did the... F- no, I think actually the, we all just... Because everyone likes him so much, they couldn't get a landing on him. And I don't think they even have the Murdoch president WA. So I think his nickname became God Emperor McGowan. Yeah, that's <laughs> that just what laboured. But when did the with. Nationals fuse, fuse with the Libs? When did that happen? Because uh, Howard that was in the Bjorki Peterson days, or oh, a but, little bit after, I think. But I swear, when Howard was around, the Nationals weren't a thing. Oh, they were a thing. Really? Yeah, oh. they've always been a thing. Oh. Always. They used to be called the Country Party. Yeah, the point, Country right? Party. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it's and then they changed it to the National Party because they were just like, yeah, we're going to expand into the city. And they were just like, what's your policy on traffic lights? What's your traffic lights? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, really old people from regional Australia? Oh, you mean Australia? a lollipop man? We're increasing him. <laughs> really? I trust these robots. <laughs> <laughs> really old people from regional Australia still call it the country party. Yeah. Yeah, totally. They, I'm sure once it was... Dude, you know what? It was the greatest quip I've ever heard. It was the beginning of a glass house. They used to always have like a welcome to the glass house where he asked the question. And then they blah, blah, blah. And the joke was. And then one time Will Anderson comes out. It's the best political gag I've ever heard. <laughs> it was just like, uh, welcome to the glass house where we're going to ask the question, if the libs are shortened to lab, I oh, no, sorry, if the, if the liberals are shortened to lib and labor shortened to lab, do you think that that's why the country party changed its name to the Nationals? <laughs> the cunts. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's such a good line. Such a good line. Yeah. Dude, you've got to go back and watch The Glass House. It is a fucking funny show. Yeah. Talk that's it. what true satire is, kids. None of these fucking chaser bullshit. <laughs> Sydney Uni musicals. That's really lame. <laughs> really lame. Yeah, and Will Anderson was the original guy doing coke too, so... Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that was fucking... Yeah, Anderson. probably. He was right. It was a doctor to me. <laughs> it was Will Anderson. It was fucking Will Anderson. It was. He just dyed his hair again. <laughs> um, what about... Just while on this, we're on this political, uh, <laughs> you know, little conversation. Who's in an NT? Uh, country liberals. Shit. Yeah. How come? I don't know anything about it. I know right. absolutely nothing about the Northern Territory. Couldn't comment on it. Yeah. I know that the Northern Territory exists. That's yeah. it. And even then, I'm a bit speechless. Just and I've been there. And I'm Are you sure? Like, ah, I don't know. Right. Huh? Are you sure it exists? No, I'm not. I'm not sure. It's my dying wish to go there. Why is it called Northern Territory and not the Northern State? I don't know. I don't yeah. know anything about it. That's a I good don't, question. Why like, isn't it just, just Northern State? No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, because I guess it's a territory and not a state. Yeah, what's the difference? What? State v. Territory. And I remember being taught it in year four and just being like, can I go to lunch yet? That yeah. It. Damn it. Hey. I don't even know. That. Isn't that pathetic that I don't know the difference? I don't know it. Uh, um, it's just uh, because they're just so inconsequential to your lives. They're apart just from smaller. the territory where all the federal decisions are made. But other than that, uh, I think they're too small to be considered a state unit. So they're just going to. Does ACT have its own, like. You know how it's like considered a state, right? No. Oh, it's a, oh, territory. It's a territory. territory. Sorry, territory. Do they have their own government? Like as yeah. in what? But dude, it's basically you're ba- you're basically voting for council. You really are. So Come who's on. who's in there? Andrew Barr, maybe still. I don't well, know. Well, labor. That's a very heavy labor place. Yeah, is it? Yeah, because the yeah. Uh, Howard made the great observation that the natural constituency of the Labor Party really is public servants. Yeah, that makes sense. You know why? Because they know how the government fucking runs. That's why. No, that uh, makes sense. That makes sense. Anyone dude, I've met in like the navies like votes labor. 
<laughs> what the hell? I'm, I'm serious. No, I know you're serious, but that this is funny. That like your only interaction with the government <laughs> is talking to former admirals. Pretty much, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the no former one, admiral, right? former former seaman. Yeah, no, former I know seaman. an admiral. I know, you know a captain. Admiral. You know a captain. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> just, what a stupid life. Like, what, who knows these people? And especially he, the navy. He gave me well. <laughs> he, <laughs> or the army. He, or the he gave me some of his navy chocolate. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> rations went up under like. <laughs> Miss, should we so should we cool. react to some pingu memes? Finally, I haven't seen. Are any, we ready for them? Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. any of these, yeah, yeah. and I wish I brought my Do glasses. You wanna, uh, wear your headphones, Jordan, for this. Yes. I don't know if this has any voice, but I'm sure it will. I haven't. These were sent a while ago, but that's all of them, is it? I thought there was like heaps yeah, more. Yeah, these are the ones that you sent me. Okay, I think there's right, more. Let's start with the first one. Hopefully they're good. Ali being pegged. <laughs> Look at him. Still rubbing. Where's That's you, Ali. Where's the sound? Take it. I don't know. Maybe I'm there is know. no sound. I think there is sound for okay. this. It's incredible. Oh, Ali fine, fine. <laughs> Jesus. That's, he does love pegging. Ali, you're a perv. <laughs> I'm going to not react to that. Still introduced. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh Perfect. shit! Oh, that's really dude. What is shady? More nasty. real than real life. Just a sick Sydney that's band that, that I'm obsessed with. Nah, it's an accordion player. Be honest. Miss Love checking his left. Miss Love checking his left. What's the stuff say? It says Core Day, Core Day, Core Day. No, what was the last one? No, Pizza Course. What? <laughs> pizza Perfect. coupons, maybe. Pizza coupons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are gold. Oh, Ali mining, mining his, his own, own business. business. Naked <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> Dude, that will it's look like me when I'm ninety. Yeah, too. exactly. <laughs> That'll be a, that's a glimpse into friendly Geordie's future content. <laughs> I'm trying shapes again. <laughs> All right, last one. It's still a shame. Ali after being. Oh, it's it's still it still works. works. It still works. Yeah, you're right. Well, I do like to get pegged twice, so. <laughs> oh my god Dude Vish Shout oh, out Vish So funny Yeah Vish Thank you Vish oh, so When has Vish <laughs> Ever delivered an L Never, Never. once it's All W's Literally winning conti Forever Continuous winning streak And I think I've got more I'll see if there's more Because he sent me more But god yeah, we'll keep so him for That guy him for needs to be we, we actually We actually had him on as a rider But then like we met I actually met him in a parking lot in like Penrith, in like of like a KFC, and I was like, yeah, goddamn computer, and he was like, my computer's screwed too, and then like I think that was it. I think we, I think his computer's too slow. He couldn't afford a computer to edit. Wow, so that takes him the entire week to I do think those so, four yeah. groups, and he still so, does it anyway. I think when he can what afford, I think when he can afford a computer, you got to get him on. Like get get it. He is like, hilarious. Give him a job. Like he's funny as shit. So good. It's just so funny. It's amazing. <laughs> the pink memes are out of control. Yeah. And also, uh, it's amazing that he is reminding me of the fact that Pingu exists. Uh, That's half the win there. Pingu was really good. I loved it, but I, I like much like Seinfeld, I didn't realize how good it was when I was a kid. Well, did you watch it yeah. in your own spare time? Of course. Recently. No, I just... I see him pop up in other memes. Pingu pop... Like, that was a really funny one I saw... <laughs> I'm not going to do it justice, but you know how people can animate their own GTA characters in GTA, and it's like, it's like the San Andreas one, and like the the one of the like Grove Street gangs, like, sup man, and then it's just Pingu that animated me, just like, and it's just like, it's like, and then leaves, and he's just like, man, what the hell, like he's just like, or he's just like. You crazy motherfucker! You know, like one of those, <laughs> it's just really funny. It's like it's just it's just quite funny because it's it's like a real game. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah, I, there must have been one of those shows again that we watched a hundred times over because it was aired on ABC for that five minutes in between them starting 
heartbreak high or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there must have probably only been seven episodes. Probably. I think it was an and Italian I show. I thought it was Swedish or oh, Finnish okay. or something. Well, it's one of those European yeah. countries. Um, uh, okay, we've got... We have one more segment. Yep. You want to introduce Jordan? Th- he, you gave Miss Love a task recently. He can introduce it. You don't want to introduce? No, I think you can introduce. Yeah. You, first, tell the audience what Miss Love's new misadventure task is. This is the new misadventure. Now, upon request, Miss Love's misadventures have translated to his expertise in life and my deep yearning to have any time to delve into anything remotely imaginary. <laughs> So it's a perfect marriage because I like upsetting Miss Love Ugh. and Miss Love produces good results when he is upset. Ugh. As we all know, Miss Love despises nothing more than Warhammer. So I thought that it would be quite fetching after making him read what we all thought was going to be the greatest <laughs> horror <laughs> book of all time. It turned out to be shit. The <laughs> hypothesis became... Maybe we should give him something that is probably going to be shit, which is a Warhammer book. So this is why you need to sign up to the Up Late, by the way, because oh, we'll do those late, guys yeah. gave us the suggestions. The winner of the Warhammer book seemed to be something called Hero of Imperium. The Cyphus Kane Omnibus. Ugh, what a right, I think they're just yeah, they're really stretching for any Latin word they know. <laughs> and and uh, we gave it to him. It's incredible how thick this it's book so is as well. This thick. is Lord of the Rings, <sighs> but written by somebody who I'm imagining is not going to be as talented as Tolkien. Maybe as talented as his son. Yeah. And I gave it to Miss Love. He picked it up. And the more up late juicy got. See, we're giving you all of the stuff. This is why you need to sign up. It's so interesting. Miss Love then immediately used it as a paperweight for his bin. <laughs> propped up for my weeks. bin yeah propped my bin up which is really offensive to the <laughs> 1999 that I paid for this book it was printed very poorly I must say uh, look uh, what's it called again pulp yeah black library it's not exactly up to the high stakes of uh, penguin classics no it's it? not pingu classics pingu classics <laughs> so uh, I did start reading it yeah how I many did. pages did you get through let's check so I so it it it, it progressed, <clears throat> it progressed from being a, a a a prop up thing for my bin mm. to I said, this is shit, so I'll read it in the shitter, you know, just have mm. it in the bathroom, just read it then. Which is good time use of time because Miss Love does take three to four <laughs> hours to do it. <laughs> a lot of meat, <laughs> um, but. So I, I read it in the bathroom for a bit, but then there's so much shit in my bathroom that I propped it under something in my bathroom and just forgot about it for like days. Okay, so someone's off his Ritalin meds again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I didn't take it today, but uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> so anyway, I've read what page is this? Fourteen pages. <laughs> That's more than what I thought you would have done. The introduction was so lame too. It was like some sad, like very teary guy being like, it's been one of the most inspirational journeys in my life. When I was asked to write this book, I didn't know what uh, Warhammer was, but it's been quite, listen to this. You quite frequently, this is the introduction, you quite frequently come across the phrase, this book changed my life, usually on the cover of some dubious American self-help manual with a Mm -hmm. title like, I was a pathetic loser until... Loser like you until I got rich preying on people's insecurities. Mm. So you'll like it. This Warhammer book, however, definitely doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's such a good point. I have to admit, though, that the experience of writing For the Emperor, the first Cepheus Kane novel, had a pretty big impact on mine. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't think that you can shit on self-help when you have written that sentence. Yeah, if no. anyone needs self-help, buddy, yeah. this is the defining moment of my life. Listen, listen. Jordan, it gets better. Triggered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen, I learned an enormous amount about the craft of authorship in the process and have continued to do so as the series goes on. Goes on. It's no exaggeration to say that without Kane, I wouldn't be the writer I am today. 
Wow. It's like... What a claim. It's like... He's saying he got better at riding by riding. Yes. And he... And it's, it's just like... It just goes on and on talking about how like great it is. And I can tell you so far, it ain't great. Yeah, but you have read two pages. I know, of the I actual know. Book. Have I you know. read the book? Have you read the actual book yet? Yes, still four, just reading the four intro? To, I skipped the intro. Uh-huh. About how many pages is that, 12? <laughs> yeah, like 12, I skipped that. So you've read two pages. No, I've read 14 of the actual book. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I see where this is going and I, I really think I'm going to have to be on some heavy drugs to get through this. Or very drunk. <laughs> it's it's really, really upsetting. Why? What happened? I'm, I'm oh really God. sad. What happened? The text is small. Huh? It's like a big book with yeah. small text. What do you mean what happened? <laughs> what happened in that 14 pages that was that uh, sad? Not sad. Like, what do you mean? What happened? It just introduced this lackluster story. It's just, it's just that's what <laughs> happened. You Can know? you give me any details about it? Yeah. <sighs> this prick has just landed on some fight. If you think, by the way, you're going to get an accurate, detailed review of this book, it's not fucking happening. <laughs> I'm not taking in this shit. It's not happening. I'll read it. But if you're like, which space marine soldier fell on Cronutheus 5? It's not happening. <laughs> so this is what's happened so far. What is happening? This prick arrived on some faraway planet. Yeah. Ooh, and there's some fa- there's some crazy fucking orc bullshit things on there, and he's 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 meeting some other bullshit, some other captain. Ooh, that's what that's what has happened. That's all that's happened. So it's pretty much the story of your life when you go to Canberra and meet these various admirals. <laughs> yeah, well, so I don't it's have, basically an autobiography. I don't, I don't have like Is a that, chainsaw gun, but yeah, I guess so. that <laughs> sounds a lot like Dune. Look, it's just going to be a like pulp science fiction book, I think. Which, it, like, I just wish it wasn't. I wish it wasn't. Boy, how much it makes you so fucking angry. <laughs> I just, I got to understand your rational hatred of Warhammer. Irrational. Yeah. There's nothing irrational about it. Is it rational, though? Yes. I, I mean, think- you can hate it, but like, you get visibly enraged. This is why we gave it's it to you because it's something. Just, of, uh, what is it? It's like everything. The. Everything, everything. To, to this man, today I called him to just say, see if um, if someone was with you that could fix the display capture thing. Mm. And Miss Love says, oh, you mean, is there a nerd with Jordan? And I was like, I don't know if they're nerds, dude. They're like, this is a useful skill. Is <laughs> Then he says, he's like, yes, but don't forget, it's all on computer, so it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he regards computer science in the same realm as fiction. Yeah, he's like, he's like, it's fiction. It's all make believe. It is. It's all make believe. It's all this. It's all this. And what I don't like about it, you know, it's it, it's it's like you said. It's it's a predatory uh, medium that, pr- that 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 is stealing people's valid time to be trying to get pussy that's what it is that's the problem i have with it and i think it's no, i don't think it's doing that i think it's filling in the time that couldn't be used <laughs> yeah, pretty, this is, dude, the person that's reading this has given up on pussy yeah, believe me i just that like, should you know what that publishing house should be the same one that makes those fake vaginas done with women. A 40 year old done virgin with women house. publishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah done with women pu- i mean it's just like even the cover's annoying the way that they've just like it looks like a cool image, and then for some reason, they've cheaped out on the most important part of the image, which is the guy's fucking face. They've just kind of digitized his face and be like, <laughs> "You see that? Yeah. It's just like they've just gotten to the face. They've done this. <laughs> his face just looks like an Indian man. <laughs> look, look at it. They've just gotten to the face and gone. Eh, just slap together some pixels. We don't have time. We got to get these out. It's like it's so annoying. He's right. Really annoys me." What happened there? Laziness. I'm sure it was laziness. And how weird is this? This dead orc at the ground. Looks it's great. The most detailed Looks thing I've great. ever seen. What, you just Do you want to show out. the camera the the, the cover? You no, you're not going to see it. You, well, ch- you can't see it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you in che- fact, it looks better here. Yeah. He, 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 you cheaped out on the main character's face. Look how big the book is and you, and you cheaped out. So that annoys me too. The cover looks underwhelming. You know, it's just gonna. I, like, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you want a deep review, it's my rate. It's not gonna happen. Look, 
I do immediately understand what Miss Love means. Thank you. After randomly opening up the book at some point. Go on. And the one sentence is, Jurgen! I shouted, dazed and delighted to see him. I thought they got you too. Oh, for, <laughs> it's just pulp crud. <laughs> crud. And you know what? This is supposed to be one of the better ones. Well, look, I'm I, now I really wish because there was one that everyone else was recommending that was great, and I thought, nah, I can't give it to me, it's just not going to be action packed enough. Okay, but apparently, the greatest work of fiction. Now, I don't even know if this is supposed to be, I thought this was supposed to be like the non stop action thriller from beginning to end, but the one that is supposed to be actually a true work of art a Warhammer book, a Warhammer okay. book, because this is the whole thing about this whole franchise, apparently. Some of them are just crap. Right. Some of them are pulp fiction, as you say, yeah. and some of them are, you know, should be regarded in the same remarks as <laughs> Frank t- Herbert. Are you serious? The guy that wrote Do Androids Move with Electric Whoa, Shit. Whoa, okay. Now, one of them is supposed to be, because there's like this wreath called the Necron that are not actually robots, but souls of a past wreath that have been caught in robotic implements. That shit just pisses me off so much. Just what you said. Just what you said pisses me off. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, apparently it is. The entire book is a 3,000-year-old robot arguing with another 3,000-year-old robot for 10,000 years. I mean, that's a cool that's concept. That's the whole book. That's a cool concept. Isn't it? Yeah. And apparently it's like five times longer than the oh. Whoa. It's not a bad idea, right? It's not, it's a, not bad a bad idea. idea. It's, it's not a bad idea. I hope the cover's better. I hope the cover's better. <laughs> what is the cover? What is that book? Look, I don't know. I find that. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't uh, know what to write. Just just type in like Necron oh, Warhammer 40K book. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's a real good pulp for ne- you. Ne- Necron 40. I'm already exhausted. 40K. 40K. Uh, Wait, is it this one? I bet it's a better co- cover. No. The other one. There's two robots, two robots at the front. Second Wait, to the let top. Me just, uh, second to the top. Second to the top. Let me first show oh, it to them as well. The infinite and the divine. Maybe. Which one? Second to the top. So this one. Yeah, that one. Well, that's it's, supposed to be one of the greatest works of fiction ever written. I mean, it looks way better. It looks way more interesting. Well, it looks. Do you want to read dude, that one? The cover is. Look, get you that one. I mean, look. Let's start with this. Let's okay. start with. All right, like, so Miss Love already has follow-up. It really This is great. I can't wait because the thing is, much like those Necrons in an endless argument, that is this podcast. <laughs> and it's just very satisfying to know that for the rest of Miss Love's life, he is going to have to become an aficionado in Warhammer literature. It's just not... It's, it's, I'm, I'm, it's, it's oh. breezing over me, dude. I'm not going to be taking this shit in. If, it's, if there's going to be a test, I'm going to fail. I'm not going to... Do it as a chore. I'll read it, but I'm not going to be like... I'm 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 not gonna absorb the details of this fucking. I universe. don't I don't expect you to. Don't worry. Like please. it's not happening. Like I'll 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 push through it, but like. All right. Jesus. Well, uh, we'll keep you updated How if you're th- on the up late, and then eventually when Miss Love's Red, maybe we'll address it on the main pod. But you'll get uh, weekly updates on the up late. So yeah, make do sure it on, you sign up. Yeah, you only get on the now, Jordan. Uh, last segment for the day. You have to choose one. Either. We talk about what you, when you called me the other day and you said something about a fortune teller from Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Uh, or sure. we could keep that for the up late. Or second, remember, th- this is, this is going to be a Pakistan either way. Uh, remember that uh, video I showed you about that intelligence officer? Do, uh, mm-hmm. that c- do you want to react to it live with the audience? Because I'm sure they haven't seen it. Huh? Put it on. <laughs> but also, <laughs> just so you know, guys... The story for the up late is about a Pakistani fortune teller. It's a real life Tintin novel. Sick. It is. I'm not understating this when I say this. Second only to the greatest story ever told, Miss Love Bella Bradjik <laughs> really? getting he had to go to court. <laughs> I thought she's also on the up late. I thought you were going to be like the greatest story ever told, Sisyphus, the the soldier of. Whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hero of the Imperium. Third best. It's not as good as this, obviously. Oh, I can't believe you're making me read that. I'm telling you. It's just... Uh, I'm hoping my rage will entertain you because that's... Or my, my, my frustrated apathy. 
you know? Well, I kind of like the idea, Miss Love. And again, maybe it is just because I'm vicariously living through you, obviously. Yes, and you want to f- read it. It's not so much that I want to read it. I just want the time to sit there and peruse the works of fiction. No, I love reading, but it's like I'm really I'm neglecting the classics. So far, what is this? Do still have this. I, I, I read Catcher in the Rye. It's all my freaking. You know, nah, I, you're not missing out on much. I, this will be better than Catcher in the Rye. Are we? Are we? <laughs> I've managed to figure that. out a way to do I it. Know. Are we ready for the video? Yeah. yeah. Now now explain. A explain. Broken I will synth. explain it. <laughs> so in many, just a second. Dude, so so what we're about to see is a um, a, an animation of. Uh, a Pakistani intelligence officer speaking to an Australian Pakistani man who's been uh, tweeting uh, pro Imran Khan stuff. It's it's going to be self explanatory. You guys just watch it. I've managed to figure out a way to do the audio as well. Okay. Ooh, the salted. <laughs> You have to read the subtitles, by the way. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Kya alaikum salam sa? Kitab. Hello. Ji ji. Kitab. Salam sa. Kya al? Kitab. Thiko. Allah ka shukar. Aap kaun bol rahe? आपको पता है मैं किस आपके किस नंबर से कॉल कर रहा हूं जी 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 किसके नंबर से कॉल कर रहा हूं मेरे भाई के नंबर से भाई की तरह आपका रात को उठा के ले गए थे उसको जी कोई लोग हां कोई उसको रात को उठा के ले गया था अच्छा आप मेरी बात सुने और अगर कोई भी वैसे दो नंबरी या कोई और स्मार्ट प्ले करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो अपने आप लोग बाहर जाके बैठ गए हो और समझते हो कि आप बहुत बड़े फुल के ठेकेदार हो अब मुझे ये बताए ये सिटीजन पोर्टल जो है ये कौन चलाता है मैं चलाता हूँ हां मैं चलाता हूं आप चलाते हैं और इसके अलावा क्या-क्या चलाते हैं कुछ नहीं बस नहीं वो पोर्टल्स वो कौन चलाता है वो की वोटर और की पाकिस्तानी मैं मैं चलाता ये दोनों ट्विटर अकाउंट्स आप चलाते हैं जी एक ही ट्विटर अकाउंट है मेरा जी जो आप इसका मेंशन कर रहे हो एक ही है नहीं दो अलग नहीं है नहीं नहीं एक ही अच्छा एक ही है अभी आप ये करेंगे कि आप इस अकाउंट का ना यूजर नेम और पासवर्ड मुझे भेजेंगे इसी नंबर अच्छा जी आई एम वेटिंग आई एम वेटिंग नहीं उससे क्या होगा फिर उससे क्या होगा वो मैं आपको बताता हूं मैं आप भेजेंगे ये तो नहीं भेज रहा मैं सॉरी ये नहीं हो सकता ना भेजिए आपका भाई है हमारे पास पर जिम्मेदार आप खुद होंगे ठीक है ठीक चलिए ओके ओके बोल रहा हूँ क्या है मेरी जान सलमान भैया यार ये भाई मुझे लेके आए हुए यहाँ पे और मेरे लिए काफी मसला हुआ हुआ है तो आप आपकी मेहरबानी होगी जैसा ये कह रहे हैं आप वैसा करें क्या कह रहे हैं ये क्या कर रहे हैं आप पाकिस्तान की गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ से बोल रहे हो ना उन इन उस पर वो आप प्लीज ना करें वरना मेरे लिए मसला हो जाएगा आप कहाँ पर है किधर लेकर आए थोड़ा सा अपने बारे में बताए मुझे कुछ नहीं मुझे मुझे कुछ नहीं पता मेरी पट्टी बन ली हुई है अच्छा आपको कोई खाना वाना खाया किसी ने मारा तो नहीं आपको कुछ कहा तो नहीं खाना खाया 
जी जी खाना खाया है मारा तो नहीं है नहीं अच्छा ठीक है मैं नहीं करता गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ बात और बताए सर और भी डिमांड आपकी हेलो जी हेलो जी हेलो जी सर आवाज आ रही है जी आ रही अच्छा मैं पहले मैंने आपको कहा था कि मुझे यूजर नेम पासवर्ड नहीं वो मुझे नहीं चाहिए जी ठीक है अभी अगले एक मिनट में आपने जो एक ट्वीट की भी है ना कि मेरा भाई है हुआ हुआ है ये डिलीट करें और इसकी जगह एक ट्वीट करें कि मेरा भाई जो है वो बिल्कुल खैरियत से है नहीं नहीं आप घर आ जाएगा तो मैं ट्वीट कर दूंगा पहले नहीं करूंगा आप अच्छा चले इसको डिलीट कर दें नहीं करूंगा इसको नहीं कर नहीं करूंगा यार ये तू मतलब तुम्हारा भाई कितने मसले में यार मेरी जान मैंने बता दी ना मैंने नहीं करनी नहीं करनी बस बात खत्म होगी भाई मेरा खैरियत से घर पहुंचेगा तो उसके बाद कोई बात होगी तड़ी नहीं लगानी ठीक है तड़ी की बात भाई को नहीं समझ आती प्यार की बात समझ आती है मुझे ठीक है तो आप प्यार से मेरे भाई के घर छोड़ दे तो मैं उसके बाद आपकी बात मानूंगा ठीक है अभी मैं भी तुम सुनो ठहर जाओ मैं सुनते जाओ ये सुनते जाओ ठीक आप मेरी जान आपको पता है ना यहाँ पे लॉज एंड ट्रांसनेशनल रिप्रेशन कर रहे हैं पाकिस्तानी के खिलाफ पता है ना आपको आप एक ऑस्ट्रेलियन सिटीजन के भाई को टॉर्चर कर रहे हो आपको इस बात का पता है आए, 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 आवाज आई है हाँ जी आ गई है आप जो कर रहे हैं ट्रांसनेशनल रिप्रेशन है इसके अगेंस्ट इंटरनेशनल रूल होते हैं ठीक है जो आप काम कर रहे ठीक है अगर आप मैं इस वक्त तुम्हारे भाई को लाया हूँ ना मैं अगली बार तेरी पूरी फैमिली को उठा के लेके आऊंगा अच्छा आप ठीक है तुम आप आप एक काम करें ना तुम समझ रहे हो कि तुम ठीक है आप भाई को भेज दे मैं ट्वीट उसके बाद आपकी बात मानूंगा पहले भाई को प्लीज घर ही से घर पहुंचाए बस डील हो गई बात नहीं सुन लो सिर्फ दो चीजों पर चलते हैं चलो एक आप अभी ट्वीट डिलीट करो ठीक है इन नेक्स्ट वन आवर बल्कि थर्टी मिनट्स ये आपका भाई आपके घर से होगा ठीक है अच्छा। और अगर ना हुआ फिर ठीक हो गया और ना हुआ फिर तो दोबारा ट्वीट कर लें ट्वीट करने में कितनी देर लगती है <laughs> अच्छा चले ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है और सेकेंडली सेकेंडली ये जो आप बिल्कुल इस सिटीजन पोर्टल पे बड़े एक्टिव हो ना फॉर नेक्स्ट वन मंथ यहाँ पे कोई ट्वीट शीट नहीं होगी अच्छा सोचा जा सकते इसके बाद नहीं सोचा नहीं ये तो इस पे आप मुझे बात कर लो मतलब हम इस पे कोई तय कर लेते हैं आपको इस अच्छा आप एक बात किस तरह की ट्वीट नहीं होती ट्वीट तो मैं वैसे ही बहुत कम करता हूँ आप उसकी बात आप मुझे बता दें क्या ट्वीट नहीं होती नहीं ये जो आप धांधली पे और ये सब कुछ कर रहे हैं ना इस पे आप बिल्कुल साइलेंट क्यों एक महीने बाद फिर कर लू बात फॉर नेक्स्ट वन मंथ आप नहीं करेंगे ठीक है उसके बाद भी फिर आप नॉर्मल जो भी है उसको कोई शेयर करें लेकिन जिस तरह आप कर रहे हैं ना वो मना करें एक महीने आप बिल्कुल भी नहीं करें उसके बाद जो आपने कर लेंगे अच्छा इसमें डिस्काउंट दे दें जरा कोई दस दिन का कर ले नहीं नहीं वन मंथ अच्छा एक महीने तो क्या नहीं जाएंगे अच्छा एक महीने बाद क्या होगा एक महीने बाद क्या होगा कुछ भी नहीं होगा आप फिलहाल एक महीना आप करें ना उसके बाद में आपके साथ ड्रैक भी रात में आ जाऊंगा Then we will decide कि क्या हम कर सकते हैं आप करें मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि आप ना करें आप करें लेकिन अब मेरी ये बताए इसमें और कौन कौन आपके साथ है नहीं। यही आप काम का अपना प्रोजेक्ट है जी हाँ मतलब ट्वीट तुम कर सकते हो लेकिन मतलब कोई ऐसी ट्वीट जो डायरेक्ट अगर अटैक होगा ना कंसिडर तो किस पे अटैक यार किसी भी चीज पे मतलब आप थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू इमरान खान के आप कहते हैं कि वो इलीगल कस्टडी में है आप शेयर करते रहे ना ये जी 
छत्तीस लोग जो और इस चीज से अपसेट है वो नहीं बोलेंगे वो इनस्टेबिलिटी में कॉज कर रही थी आप खुद बताओ पिछले चौबीस घंटे में कितना रोला मचा इस बात से जब आप लोगों ने कहा कि हम दो घंटे नहीं खान साहब को मिलने देंगे दो हफ्ते कितना रोला मचा इस चीज आप खुद भी तो थोड़ा सोचो ना यार ब्रूट फोर्स क्यों हर चीज में इस्तेमाल करते हो यार हर चीज का जवाब ब्रूट फोर्स तो नहीं होता ना आपने ब्रूट फोर्स यूज कर रहे हो ना दो साल से क्या नतीजा निकला या तो आप मुझे कन्विंस हो जाए या मुझे कन्विंस कर लें ठीक है मुझे आपसे लड़ाई करने का कोई शौक नहीं ठीक है अगर आप मुझे कन्विंस कर लेंगे मैं कन्विंस हो जाऊंगा तो मैं आप आई फॉलो वट आई अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है मेरी बात समझ आपका इसमे ग्रामीण हमजा मारखोर के लिए काम करते बस अभी फिलहाल आई कैन ओनली टेल यू दिस अच्छा चलिए ठीक है हमजा ओके मैं ट्वीट डिलीट कर रहा हूँ आप मेरे बल्कि मैं अभी फोन पर डिलीट कर देता हूँ बताए अच्छा इन नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स आपका भाई जो है वो घर पे होगा ठीक है या मतलब ऑन हिज वे होगा ठीक है ठीक है हेलो हाँ जी हाँ जी और नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज देर विल बी नो टू फ्रॉम योर साइड ठीक है और इस दौरान हम बातचीत करेंगे एंड वी विल ट्राई टू कन्वेंस ठीक है मैं पांच दिन वाली बात के ऊपर सोचूंगा ठीक है ओके आप मेरे से दोबारा बात कर लेना मेरे भाई को फिलहाल घर खैरियत से पहुंचाए ठीक है मैं ट्वीट डिलीट कर रहा हूँ ओके मेरा भाई खुश रहे Damn, this prank call for you is getting more serious, huh? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think about it? Jordan and I saw it, and I know it's scary that someone's brother's been picked up. Yeah. But. TK. I know how to say okay in the, Pakistani. The, TK. That was the TK. most Pakistani thing ever. He's like asking for a discount yeah. as his brother's being like tortured in the back. Yeah, like, that, ah, that ah. is. He's like, uh, can you give me a discount? And brother's like, take, <laughs> the, take the deal, brother. Take the deal. Can I have a discount? Can I have a Can discount? I, that, that is, you know what's amazing? It's the most calm hostage. A, a, in true Pakistani fashion, there was a discount. Yeah, there yeah. was. <laughs> okay, okay, five, five days. Five days. We've got to read five days. Oh. That's the most Pakistani. Yeah, that is, that is the most calm hostage negotiation I've ever heard. What was the deal with that? Why was it so calm? Well, I mean, look, they're both handling it pretty well. I think they... And you know what? The brother getting beaten was handling it pretty well. <laughs> he was... Yeah, so yeah. That, like, if that was a white guy, be like, uh, oh, oh, no! Yeah. Yeah, but he was just like, ah. Uh, yeah, life's uh, hard. But, but he was there. convincing his brother over the phone, just take the deal, man, no discount. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> casual. Oh, my God, they're hitting me. I, first, I thought it was going to escalate, but, uh, like... But Dude, ob- it's okay. So, firstly, obviously, it's crazy. <laughs> this is like repression to yeah. a whole different level. Yeah. But having said that, I think the ISI dude was being pretty f- reasonable for a guy who's literally holding your brother. Yeah. And kidnap your brother and is torturing him. Yeah. Did he went from like thirty days to five days, <laughs> and that too was like we'll convince each other. All he had to do was delete that existing tweet. Did, and did, I did really like that he had to clear his nose every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> did the army guy know that you can record conversations on the phone? Well, he probably thinks like you wouldn't want to do it because I'll beat your brother. But this guy's asking for discounts. I don't think he cares about his brother. So as w- much. what I want to know is what's happened to his brother now that that's out. Well, I don't know. We don't know. This is just the one thing that came out, and I just thought it was really interesting, and I was just to share it to. The one thing that I do agree with the 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 bad guy, the ISI dude, is on. Like, dude, you're living in Australia. Like, none of this matters to you. Like, mm. you have taken a foreign nationality. Your brother, who's literally getting yeah, tortured, that. if he had something to say about it, I would understand. But you, because this mm. is like a lot. So, uh, okay, so the context is this guy whose brother is being taken. Again, he has all the rights to do it, and like you know, he can say whatever he wants. But he was essentially petitioning. For European Union to put sanctions on Pakistan if they don't treat Imran Khan well, right? There's like a there's a principled issue over there. Like if the sanctions do take place, this guy's living in Australia. He's not getting affected by it. Why does he get to have? Why does he call those shots? Yeah, that's yeah, totally. It's crazy. 
It is crazy. But at the same time, just because someone is saying something yeah. on the internet doesn't mean you can like kidnap their brother and family and torture them. It, Why? It, it is the most, it really shows how like intense society is there. Like society is there that like the, on twofold. One, that the kidnapping mm-hmm. is so easily won over like, okay, okay, five days, five days. Okay, that's fine, five days. Like that's hilarious because it's like, Jesus Christ, dude, you're, you're not a good, like, kidnapper. And then also that that guy's just been, like, he had the upper hand and was that chilled about his brother, just been like, no, 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 no. Oh, you listen, I'm not going to do five, I'll do four. Like, it's like, <laughs> what yeah. the and then he's, like, he's like, no, I'm not going to go. Well, you can take my brother again if I... <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah, he said... Dude, like, it's, like, it's like human life is so lowly so valued. It's so cheap that his own brother is like, ah, ah, and it's like, Five, five. <laughs> Come on, man. I really like Twitter. <laughs> and so, so calm. He, it's like he was ordering a pizza. Yeah. Oh, that is insane. I don't understand that. And I uh, you know you're trying to explain it to me before, but I really don't understand that they're sitting there quite calmly and then they'll be like, okay, so five days. No, you listen to me. I don't know why they just keep dropping in and out of English. Yeah, that's confusing me too. It's like why are they yeah why are they speaking English? It's and like sometimes commonly it's uh, amongst like somewhat educated people. It's common to like speak in Urdu, but then like mix a few sentences in English. And often, if it's something that they think is intellectual, they'll yeah. switch to English. Really? Why? Yeah. I don't know. It's just, cool. just to be cool, I guess. Is it because yeah. it was a colony? Saying that I'm like, I'm, I'm educated. I'm so is it because yeah, it was a probably, colony? Yeah. Because like people in Pakistan can speak English. Yeah, like both of those guys. Could. Yeah, yeah. So another question. Tika, is that okay? Tika? No, Tika. Oh, isn't it? Tika, yeah, okay. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Tika is okay. Instead of O, it's T. So it's TK. So it's TK. Okay. Yeah. Damn, I want to go to a restaurant and go like this. I want to go, Tika. TK? <laughs> that would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, that's, that's exactly that's like that. TK. No, actually, to impress you, he'd be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I go, TK, TK. Um, that, that is, I, it was just weird because like, I was expecting oh the God, moment, I'm like, you kicked my dog. I was expecting that point. It never really came, but it was, you know, that video. You know, that you kicked my dog video. Remember that? From yeah, way yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, was that interesting just to me or was that interesting to you as well? No, no, no. It was interesting. I was just like, I was, I, I thought something really dramatic was going to happen. Like I thought it was going to be like five. I'm like, okay, five. Like five shots. Like, and I'm like, did you kill him? And I'm like, well, I'm tweeting now. You're already dead. I thought it was going <laughs> to it was gonna be something like You really did get the vibe. The reason that, that didn't happen is because he just couldn't be bothered to get out his gun. Yeah. That's the only reason he's still alive. Like, how how are they so calm? How are, the, how are each party so calm? I don't know, man. Like, uh, you could tell that when his brother was getting tortured, the Australian Pakistani guy, he was feeling it. You could tell. Barely, dude. Yeah, but like if you hear, like you could sense that that was when he was getting emotional. And I think the ISI, dude, this is this is my theory. I can't obviously prove it. I think he just agrees with the right. Australian. And he's, he's doing it because yeah. it's his job. It's his he's been job. told like, yeah. you need to like, you know. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a lot of instability. Yeah, because that, that actually he, makes Because even like at the end, he was like, you're using brute force. And he was like, well, that's a different discussion. That means that it's something that he can talk about. He's yeah. somewhat even agrees to it. Yeah, I can see that because, like, even when he was like, "Come on, man!" Like, you can't say, you can't say Imran Khan you cannot be seen for two weeks. And he's like, "Okay, five days." It's like he kind of agrees almost. Yeah, yeah. really did have that feeling of when you're interacting with someone at Roads and Maritime, and you're saying, <laughs> "What do you mean my license is suspended for twelve months?" Yes. It's like, look, man, it's just. Like, I don't make up the rules. That's, <laughs> that's what was happening exactly. there, except it was the secret police. Yeah. <laughs> that was It was like the RTA, but the secret police. What the... That's just crazy to me. <laughs> that is crazy. It's cra- yeah. It is crazy, bro. Shout out to, by the way, Breaking Points, the American uh, media channel who reported this. <sighs> was story. it even in the fucking news in Australia? Uh, I don't think it was in the news in Australia. That's crazy. And it, it did also, go mega Ali, viral sorry, in Pakistan. I, you, you probably don't know anything about this, but just while I'm thinking about it, you know how Joko Widodo, the current Indonesian president, 
Mm. His term is up. And so there was an election and then <laughs> his opposition won. Did you know that Wododo was supporting the opposition? Really? No. Why? Isn't that weird? Why? What is it? And isn't this weirder that the opposition candidate was his defence minister? What? And also that the defence minister that was running in the opposite party in Indonesia, his vice president is Wododo's son. What? What is Damn. going on there? What country and he, is this? The, the president was actively running against his own party. That's almost as bad as Bill Shorten getting <laughs> university. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as bad. Well, we'll do some more research. We're out of time, guys. But not that bad. Thank you, everyone, for joining <laughs> us tonight. Make sure you sign up to the Uplate because Jordan's going to tell his uh, fortune teller story. Ooh. Amongst others. As well as other things that are... Of interest. Sign up, peeps. Don't you guys, so make sure you sign up.